Welcome to this week's Fireside Chat, a time I enjoy spending with you as part of the ministry of King Cardin United Church. Thanks to Judy Zerubic on the other side of this recording, the technology is flowing smoothly and skillfully. Thanks to David Skinner and Terry Boyd, these recordings are uploaded to our YouTube channel for you to discover. What a great team. As usual, I like to start with some humor a way to poke fun at life, chuckling at our place in it. As a child, I had a sweet tooth, and this was one of my favorite breakfast foods, only available at my grandmother's house. Yeah, it's a bad pun. Since I won't be with you during Mother's Day, consider this. Easter egg hunts are all over by now, but what happens to the eggs that were missed? The only time I wear my gown and my stole is during sacraments. Might there be other sacraments when you have cats? I know the online game Wordle can be quite addictive, so how does God deal with that reality? Springtime often brings high water and floods. What happens if you are driving while listening to the song American Pie on the radio? Speaking of familiar songs from my 20s, combined with my favorite Star Trek show, We are now in the season of Easter. Why? Because Easter isn't just Easter Sunday, but a span of 50 days beginning with Easter Sunday. These 50 days are time to consider how we shall live into the way of Jesus, following his model of loving. Indeed, to follow Jesus means we change how we live. One reason people resist change is because they focus on what we have to give up instead of what we have to gain. In fact, Jesus wasn't starting a new religion or, or even criticizing an old one. He was preaching and teaching a spiritual practice, the practice of radical kindness and trust in God. That's all. That's Jesus' teaching and ministry in a nutshell. However, Jesus' practice of radical kindness is dangerous. Jesus modeled brave daring to proclaim how to live love. You see, when you learn how to sit at the table with your Judas, you'll understand the love of Christ. If you practice radical kindness with everybody, including the poor, the sick, the outcast, foreigners, the incarcerated, sinners, and even your enemies, with everybody, well, it will overturn all of society. So, of course, religious and political authorities had reason to get rid of Jesus. Holy Week reminds us, and the season of Easter proclaims to us, that love is powerful. Love is revolutionary. And people with worldly power will resist it. But love will win. Love will win. Speaking of those marginalized and those who would benefit from such radical kindness, here is a video made by some youth from the Bakanjikim First Nation, a fly-in indigenous community 700 kilometers north of Dryden, Ontario. Listen to what they sing despite the generational trauma with which they live. They sing of possibility. They call the song, The River Flows. I was 
young, I just stayed in my room. My mind's in the darkness and I feel confused. I know there is more for a girl just like me. So I will stay brave till I'm finally free. I've been grieving for too long, been trying to let go. Still smiling away, but so many don't know. There's a struggle inside and my heart feels so cold. But beneath the surface, the river still flows. We will cherish what we know again. We walk out We will find some peace and love, my friends. For all creations, we will have respect. And I gotta admit it Feeling so down for what I've been dealing with Fearing the worst, depression's a curse So I will stay strong till everyone's listening Singing for hope, but crying for help Things don't change, I'm down in myself What is the truth? It's harder to tell The lies we've been told are darkened in hell Hearing the talks about the past It's bringing us down, it's hard to laugh Putting on a face, hiding the pain I'm focused on changing, finding my way Wanna help out and bring the courage So many lost, so many searching Self-perception, always learning In the future there is purpose Build up the pain there is so much neglect Abusing our minds We've been trying to pretend But we can't do more Don't forget who we are Life is worth living There's strength in your heart I want you to know that I'm here with you now We're in this together Just know she is proud Holding the moment Let's capture the smile Cause beneath the surface The wearer is wild We will change what we know again We walk out We will find some peace and love My friends Psyche demon For all creations We will have respect Just know that you are sacred So please be brave in the face of danger There is truth inside your greatness Leave behind the doubt, we'll be okay Just know that we miss the good old days Having fun, chilling out and feeling safe There will be a change that comes our way Just follow your dreams no matter what comes Speak on your truth and the river is home to our love Cherish what we know again. We walk out We will find some peace and love, my friends. Psyche demon. For all creations, we will have respect. Just know that you are sacred. So please be brave in the face of danger. There is truth inside your greatness. Notice that periodically the seven grandfather teachings flash on the screen. The teachings of humility, wisdom, respect, courage, bravery, honesty, and truth. What affected me the most were the words of the refrain as they sang, we will cherish what we know again. We will find some peace and love, my friend. All creation, we will have respect. Just know that you are sacred. Just be brave in the face of danger. There is truth inside your greatness. Their song tries to hold up the need for community within which each person supports each other person. 
from their tradition, they would tell us in the circle, we are all equal because in the circle, no one is in front, no one is behind, no one is above, no one is below. However, it's easy for us in Kikardi to ignore what's going on with remote indigenous communities. It's just as easy to ignore what is happening around the world when we immerse ourselves in our daily lives without concerning ourselves with Jesus' radical and daring practice of loving kindness. Consider this blended image of before and after in Kyiv, Ukraine. or the loss of the so-called innocence of childhood in war. We are drawn in by the unfolding stories from Ukraine, mostly because they look so much like us. Have we forgotten the non-white refugees cut off by razor wire from relative safety only a few months ago on the borders of Poland and Hungary? Have we forgotten the struggles and tragedies of migrants and refugees off the coast of Greece? Have we forgotten the plight of Palestinians trying to eke out a life in the Gaza Strip despite periodic bombing? Have we forgotten how many refugees from the African continent perish while trying to reach the relative safety of Europe? Do we continue to ignore the unfolding plight of Ethiopians in the Tigray region during the civil war and drought there? Do we care about the plight of citizens of the Democratic Republic of Congo during their civil war? Do we care more about the Canadian men's soccer team qualifying for the World Cup in Qatar or the disparity of the developing world with their limited access to COVID vaccines? With so many other tugs on our heartstrings, do we even consider how women and girls are still treated so poorly in the world? As we encourage our children and grandchildren to enjoy the arts, do we work at healing the souls of child soldiers? Are we more worried about fast fashion trends instead of the migration of so many due to the growing consequences of climate change? As the late Archbishop Desmond Tutu said, if you are neutral in situations of injustice, you've chosen the side of the oppressor. Our Easter faith demands more of each of us. We are not to simply bandage the wounds of the victims beneath the wheel of injustice. We are to drive a spoke through the wheel itself, wrote Dietrich Bonhoeffer in 1933. Sadly, that kind of living into our faith may feel too daunting. We might consider it easier to just do nothing because it is impossible to make a difference regardless of our faith. However, watch this, just do nothing because it is impossible. Consider this different perspective. Just do nothing because nothing is impossible. This image provides a wider perspective for each of us to embrace. Why? Because God is not what you think or even what you believe. Because God is a word unspoken, a thought unthought, a belief unbelieved. So if you wish to know this God, practice wonder. Do what is good and cultivate silence. The rest will follow. Too unrealistic? Consider this picture. This is the result of an experiment by kindergarten children. They drop seeds in the crack of the sidewalk to see what would happen. What happened was burgeoning life arising out of the most unexpected places. That is the Easter message. New life is possible if we dare. Despite how overwhelming any changing systems of injustice may seem, despite our fears at how it will affect our own lives, our own safety, and our own security, change is possible when we believe in new life and transformation. 
I want to share with you a video by the One Voice Children's Choir filmed when they visited Normandy in France to honor the Second World War dead and to remember the tragic reality of the Holocaust. Notice that they are all wearing the colors of the Ukrainian flag. Thank you. 
Now this scrubbed and groomed presentation repeats the refrain that miracles are possible if we believe. Such following the way of Jesus, his practice of radical kindness, our task of putting a spoke in the wheel of injustice, our standing with those most disadvantaged in our world, that's when our belief transforms into change. Such change proclaims the love of Christ in and through us all. In times of war, of poverty, of oppression, and of inequity, times like today, the Corrymeela community from Ireland offers the perfect prayer. The Corrymeela community was formed during the Irish Troubles as a place for people from all faiths to gather and to foster relationships. This building of healthy community was and continues to be a powerful countervailing narrative proving what is possible when we love one another as Jesus loved us. So then, let us pray. God of a new commandment, God of our oldest instinct, may we love one another and become more human in our need to connect with the other. May the fears we've learned and the hate we've grown be what dies in your place this week. And may a new life emerge from the tomb of indifference so this command to love can become at last our natural impulsive desire. Amen. The next time I will be away, uh, I will be with you, sorry, the next time I will be with you in these fireside chats will be on Tuesday, May the 24th, after I've returned from two weeks of study leave. During my study leave, I will be attending a preaching conference in Denver, Colorado, called the Festival of Homiletics. I look forward to being with you later in May. The blessing I wish to leave with you comes from Ojibwe writer Richard Wagamese from his book, Embers. All we have are moments. So live them as though not one can be wasted. Inhabit them. Fill them with the light of your best good intention. Honor them with your full presence. Find the joy, the calm, the assuredness that allows the hours and the days to take care of themselves. If we can do that, we will have lived. Until May 24th, enjoy the growing warmth of spring as harbinger of new life. Goodbye.